morning. It's confirmed now that uh, private prosecution is going to go ahead. So we're sitting with a potentially accused number one. So it cannot be that you have an accused number one who must uh, prosecute this case. That's the first thing. Secondly, there's confirmation now that uh, the, superior, the, the SCA uh, has received the application for the reconsideration. Uh, and so we can't have those two processes running in parallel. First, first of all, understand why, why, why do you think the postponement might not be given? What, what, what could be the reason? So it's, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, it's not even a possibility that uh, one must entertain because the facts on the table are that everything for a postponement is there. There's not even a single reason why there shouldn't be a postponement uh, because of the two reasons. I mean, this is factual. That the CA has got this thing in front of it is factual. So how do you proceed? It's almost like you're wasting time for the SCA. You put things on the SCA, but you still continue here, like hedging your bets. Can't do that. So it cannot be. So the courts can't force us to hedge our bets.